Hello, and you are now tuned in to the only universe mode that matters. I'm Jesse. I'm Christian. We are just one week away for Survi from Survivor Series. This is going to be a great Friday Night Smackdown. Monday Night Raw was pretty good last week, but... It's amazing if I must say so myself, but who am I? Yeah. Where are we tonight? We are in Louisville, Kentucky. Shout out to good old Jack Harlow. He's from Louisville, Kentucky? Yes, he says it every song, Jesse. Really? That's your brethren. And kicking off the show here, Friday Night Smackdown, we were here in Louisville, Kentucky. Shout out to Jack Harlow. Uh, interesting to know that he's from there. I really didn't catch that, but good to know, Christian. But we have an internet match here tonight. The last round of the King of the Ring tournament on the Friday Night Smackdown side. Bobby Lashley and Paul Heyman are making their down, way down to the ring. We all know who he's going against. It is the internet champion. It is The Rock. This is going to be a really interesting matchup because these two gentlemen are very big. Bobby Lashley, 6'3", probably walks around around easily 240, 50 pounds, probably more. This man back in his day was uh, was really, really dominant. Honestly, now in WWE, he's pretty dominant. He looked great in that Royal Rumble. Got a few eliminations. And he's been nothing but dominant on Universe Mode. Just beat Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, beat Brock Lesnar at uh, SummerSlam. He's also beaten, I believe he beat Bobby Roode in the King of the Ring tournament. He's had, trying he, to remember who else. He's, he's, he's had a great he run. Um, yeah, SummerSlam started it all. He feuded with uh, Brock Lesnar for that one pay-per-view, got a big victory. and. Did you draft him? Yeah. Yeah, I actually protected him because I, I, I wanted to have him go against Brock at a big pay-per-view. And now that we did a King of the Ring tournament uh, again, I put him in it, and he's in the finale. And I, I feel like a draft pick well... Uh, well scouted. Yeah. Uh, his, and he's dominant. His path has been just that, Jesse. I don't know if you mentioned the Walter victory. Um, That's who it was, yes. Walter, 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 Shinsuke, and then Bobby. It has been a great run for Bobby Lashley, mm -hmm. but more importantly, he has... Can he beat the great one? He has ran through these people. Mm -hmm. uh, Shinsuke put up as much of a fight as somebody has against yeah. Bobby Lashley this year, but... That was about a 20-minute match. It was pretty solid. Bobby Lashley, since being under the regime of Paul Heyman, he's been looking great. But oh, oh man, I forgot what I forgot what this is, Jesse. I forgot how this how this feels. This is the electricity champion. inside this arena, Louisville, Kentucky. Just been blessed. Honestly, this title kind of fits him. The man of the people, the people's yeah. champ, is he not? Yeah, the internet champion, electricity. Hometown Miami, Florida. I, I love, see, bro. I love title entrances. It just gets me fired up. Yeah. I hate seeing it just around their generic, waist. Generic, yeah. Generic as hell. This just got me pumped. This got me fired up. This is how we're kicking off SmackDown Live. I know I'm supposed to be the heel, Jesse, but you've done a hell of a card today. Rock is talking trash too. He should do that title motion where he puts it up in the air like he did it all the other times before he will. He will. honestly one of my favorite moments with the rock not even in any movie or wwe is when he did that when he walked down with the bmf belt for the jorge masvidal fight do you remember that when he came down and had the bmf title and raised it up just like that it was honestly a really fire moment. i don't remember anything pre-covid yeah. anymore i they, couldn't i couldn't even tell you if that happened pre-covid did yeah. it yeah it did yeah Madison square garden he fought nate diaz that was pre-COVID? Yes. That was, that was November of 2019. Everything felt the same, man. I don't know yeah. what it feels like to go outside. Yeah. But it was I, a dope moment. They played his music, too. Like They, they actually like gave him like a huge ovation because it's The Rock. You know what I mean? and He's coming into look, the garden. Look how ugly he looks in this game. Yeah, look I, at that. I, I, hope, I hope he looks great in the next one. I hope it, there is no next one. No, there's a, there's a next one. I, I, I hope they stop. No, <laughs> I hope we get to play this game forever, Jesse. No. After the two-day hiatus of not playing a, a word. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, you're lucky the ref came in and rang that bell. Because I was going to ring your head with that. And that's also thought. what it's for, guys. I do want you guys to remember that much. It is for that internet championship. Put that away. And The Rock protecting it. This would be his first title defense. He beat AJ Styles last, uh, two weeks ago. Four title defense warrants a championship shot. Could we see Rock versus Roman again? I mean, if Roman could keep the championship that long. Yeah. I mean, you did it before WWE ever will. So, shout out to you. What was that, 2K19? 
Well, it definitely wasn't last year. And the Rock is right now taking care of Bobby Lashley. Yes, I can't sir. get anything going. There goes a the cutscene. Yes, sir. And he's taunting Bobby Lashley early the here. The Brahma Bull. Brahma? Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Brahma Bull. Oh. I liked that Brahma Bull title. He had the custom one back in the day, like the late 90s. And they had the Smoking Skull title, too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice oh, my diving oh, crossbody. Yeah, I, was, I didn't know if that was a shoulder block or a crossbody there. Whatever it was, I will call it effective. And here goes momentum uh, and there goes toward Lashley's. There goes my battery life. Oh, no. Oh, not into oh. the title. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! What a Paul Heyman. And Bobby Lashley, uh, he's been able to get... An early dominance in all his matches. This match already feels like a change mm. in that. He's, he hasn't been able to get that early dominance. He might have been able to fast forward that if he threw the rock over those ropes. But mm. right now... Especially onto that internet title. Oh, right back at him. Uh, man, I my signature and everything. I was going to hit this, uh, with the spine buster. Here comes another power bomb, really close to the ropes. Oh, and he hasn't been able to get it off. Yeah, I, I spam the, the circle button. <laughs> oh, nice. Just been corner. playing defense. I got to watch out. You're already at a signature. Yeah, the, the rock is, is honestly so good in this game, too. As much as I hit that rock, uh, the people's elbow. I'm, I'm a fan of the rock. His character work, his promo work, and all that good stuff. Okay. He went through me. Okay. Mm. Do some ground and pound here on Bobby Lashley. I'm honestly surprised these... Uh, well, then Bobby Lashley came into WWE, obviously, when The Rock left. So, But even when The Rock came back, to be honest, I'm surprised. I went for my spine buster. It didn't work. I'm surprised uh, they never thought of uh, doing a Lashley versus Rock match. Both the guys have the size. But when The Rock came back, obviously, it was against John Cena, which is one of the biggest matches in the company's history. So, yeah, I don't little, blame them. A little bigger than Bobby Lashley, if I was saying. Well, yeah. I don't, I, I don't blame them for the direction they went. It was a smart business move from Vince McMahon, I guess. But. Bobby Lashley, uh, maybe he's taking this out of Brock Lesnar's arsenal? Uh, Imagine do he a... does a shooting star for us, too. I'd be shocked. Okay. Wish you could do a spine buster, like you can catch one kind of thing, but that'd be very difficult. Can't imagine how that would even work in the game. Oh! Looks like I hit the fair end of the other. Yeah, I'm just hitting that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get to the top now. And, uh, who. Uh, this. Well, Paul Heyman in the corner, I can't, I can't help but think of. I mean, I don't think oh. Paul Heyman was in the corner then, but I can't help but think of uh, Rock and Rock and the match that they put on. Back in, uh, when was that, 02? SummerSlam? I think that's when the Brock, uh, well, the Brock. Brock became uh, the next big thing, like, oh, officially. Because, uh, yeah, didn't he beat the Rock for the, the, the WWF title? That's when they mm -hmm. really started to push uh, Brock. That was his first real push. That's crazy. Jesse, we talked about... You know, the, Lashley's dominance, and obviously Rock has gotten off to a faster start, mm -hmm. but I do want you to take a look at the damage right yeah, now. Yeah, Lashley is definitely putting this into a sport mode. He is taking... Are you, do you, are you saying that because you drive Infinity? Well, no, no, yeah, right. yeah, but just in, in general, uh, it is oh my God. into another gear oh here my God. from Bobby Lashley. And this has became something that Paul Heyman's very familiar with. Uh, I would call the Suplex City. Lashley, Rock is already hurt. Thank God I have a resilience to go. The great one. Okay. Oh, big slam there from the the great one. Honestly, there there's a lot of matches. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of The Rock in the ring, there's a lot of matches I I did love with him in the ring. Him, Cena, Kurt Angle, obviously Stone Cold. All those great matches I can never take away from from watching. Even though it wasn't part of my time, I will always love those matches. And again, Ooh. just he's, he's throwing the rock around like he's a pebble. Skipping stones over here. 
and I, you let me go for my signature. I thought that was a second reversal. That's what I was kind of nope. waiting for. That's fine. Yeah, it might not be. You might need to use that resiliency. I hope not. Come on, Rock. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, no. I'm not using that on that big of a meter. Uh -oh. I did have a little heart attack right there, though, on that second one. I miss when he used to have the grounded finisher, but that spear is is deadly. Oh, thank goodness. Yikes. I want to use my kick up, but it'd be a fool. It's too far. I feel like you'll reverse it. He doesn't have a running spear in this game, which sucks. Yeah, they, I, don't, I don't know why they took away the running spear and his grounded finisher. His grounded finisher was, was beautiful, too. He does that master lock now, which is uh, interesting. Does he, he, he doesn't do it in the game, though, right? No, no not in the game. He, he still has the spear in real life, too. They they, they, they made uh, Lashley. Well, the master really lock comes full circle because uh, he was actually the first one to break out of the master lock. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's interesting how they do things like that, you know? Like, there's some things... That I love what they do with that, and then there's some things. Okay, it's deja vu. Yeah, there's <laughs> some things spot. where it comes full circle where you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do it a second or third time kind of thing. But, this is a heavyweight match to kick off for SmackDown Live today. Yeah. Bro, the the rest of these matches, we also got another title match. The main event is uh, main event worthy, and the code main event is going to be uh, extreme. So I can't wait to see the rest of this card. Let's get wild, Kentucky. Shout out Jack Harlow. And shout out to Laker NBA champion Rajon Rondo. Oh, damn. Okay. You want to get wild, Jesse? How wild do you, how, how you want to get? I'll get as wild as wild can get right now. Oh, wow. It's big. It's big. Refreshing the count. Rocky is refreshing the Please count. Stay there. Please stay there. Please stay there. Oh, you're not like on the table. Okay. Come on. I gotta do this. What? Bro, there's no way. I have two finishers. That should be plenty. What's this? Oh, big clothesline. I'm putting you through that table, bro. I'm going to rock bottom your ass through the soil of Kentucky. Come on, now. Did I just eat my words? No, I don't have one either. No shots. Oh boy, that's that's weird. Instead of steal, okay, never mind. Pull. Slam there on the outside. Oh boy. Oh, oh my God. He might have clipped the edge of that. Oh my! I should win it like this, but I won't. I won't. Yeah, I, I really want to put you through that table, bro. I don't think I can right now. For it does, yeah, it's, it's not letting me. I don't know why. But my dumb ass. I had, a, I had an idea and I used <clears> my resiliency oh. because of it. He's, <laughs> He's still up. There we go. That's what okay. I don't know if you're going to go for the... the... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take higher ground. I'll take higher ground. It's all a game, isn't it? Oh, whoa! And Paul Heyman just got rock-bottomed! I feel like I had to do that. Uh, I'm not mad at him. Paul Heyman should be down for the rest of the match if this was... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, man. Three into Kentucky right there. Oh, my goodness! He took a bad fall on that, uh... Poor that Uncle steel Paul. Tips. And now Bobby Lashley isn't taking too keen of that action. Yeah, once you uh, touch the mentor of the new Bobby Lashley, I feel like the one you can... That, that's really been leading him to the victory. The ball him is backstanding. I think he took a page out of uh, Bobby Lashley's book. Yeah. Keep fighting. And 
Rock, Rock, Rock might be hurt going into the next match if he does advance. Yeah. We could see Rock versus Andrade, but the way it's looking right now, it, it could be Lashley and Andrade for the who will go against Oh my God. Pac. It's quick. At Survivor Series. That's a nice cutter. That's one thing we haven't seen so far affect this tournament like some of the other ones. Injuries. We haven't seen that happen this mm -hmm. year, Jesse. Yeah, that's one thing I do hope they do in the game. Like when you have a wrestler like significantly hurt, like in the uh, red, purple, gray body damage, like have it be like a storyline kind of thing, not just they're out for two weeks and they're back to wrestling kind of thing. That's wow. that, that could be the resilience he used. You gotta do it. Let's go. It's big. That is big. That oh. is a big finisher for Bobby Lashley. He's in shock. Paul Heyman knows the job that is being done right now. He's telling him to apply more pressure. Come on. I'm trying to reverse some of these ground strikes. I feel like I'm Imagine just missing them. Catch a rock bottom. Oh, yeah, it's possible. I really tried so hard to put you through that table, but it wasn't doing nothing. I had two finishers. That's when you have OMGs. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Oh, God. To, to pick up a man that's 265 like that with ease oh. is outstanding. Spine Buster. Okay. Big clothesline. Should escape. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I thought you were gonna. There goes one arm band. And there goes the match. The match is all over here. I'm fully confident. I'm not going for it. I'm not, I'm not winning by rock, uh, oh, people's you know, rock elbow. Is, you know how I he's am. He's trying to take it to the next level. Rock bottom. Oh, and I... This could be a rope break, though. Resiliency! <laughs> That's what I was hoping. That's what I was hoping. That was the goal of using the... Ah, it worked out, baby. Come on. Please turn him the other way. Into the ropes. Into the yes. Ropes. Damn it. I have no stamina, though. Okay, just look I had nothing. Uh, Come on, great one. No. No, no, no. Oh, I'm not winning like that. I know you were winning like that with him, but I'm, no, I'm not, I don't play that way. I know we make fun of this. That's it right there. That is. That got to be it. Rocky just did it. Paul Heyman got Rocky it. Rocky just did it. One... Two, three! Wow! Rocky beats Apollo! Rocky beats Apollo! Wow. That was a great match. Uh, I thought Paul Heyman would interfere I thought I since he got I th rock bottom. I thought I broke out of that. <sighs> wow. Great match. Great way to start off Friday Night SmackDown. The Rock is still the internet champion, beating the dominant one and Bobby Lashley. And now it is official, Rock versus Andrade. And the winner of that goes against Pac at Survivor Series. Well, I was completely wrong with my predictions, as we get to see the beautiful title celebration here as well. That's one defense, Jesse. But that title will be on the line next week on Monday Night Raw. Against one of the most dominant internet champions ever. Look how full circle comes Andrade? back around. Yeah. Andrade versus The Rock. Talk about... A match. Talk about a, uh, a styles clash, a clash of yeah. styles. Well, I think Rocky beat him too, didn't he? Oh, man. What a showcase for Dwayne The Rock Johnson today. He might celebrate by uh, wearing some more Under Armour and doing a binge day of eating 400 pancakes. I mean, his cheat days are ridiculous. Yeah, every Sunday. It's, it's Other than that, this man. Yeah. Crazy. And then Bobby Lashley... What I thought might have been one of the more dominant forces SmackDown Live has seen. I mean, he's still dominant, but it, right now the train comes to a halt. And we will see who will go up against Pac for the King of the Ring crown mm -hmm. next week on Monday Night Raw. But for tonight's show, Jesse, we're not close to being done, man. Yeah, we got another title match up next. It's actually a rematch from the previous pay-per-view. I can't wait to see it again. It was a great match at uh, what's our last pick? Clash of Champions.
And uh, we're seeing it once again. Women's tag titles are on the line up next. Oh, oh! Back on his uh, oh man, his stomping grounds where where it he all was started. Last, where he was last season. Roddy, Roddy is returning. It looks like I still have keys to the building that Undisputed Era built. And last week on Monday Night Raw, I was supposed to do things a little differently. I'm grateful to be defending Monday Night Raw, but uh. The result wasn't quite what I wanted. I had that match in the bag. You guys saw it. I knew it. But uh, Kevin Owens came out. You know, Undisputed Era Brothers in Arms came out and helped me win. And I thank you for that, but I didn't need the help. I'm not here to discourage a brother of mine. All I'm saying is... Roddy was given a chance, and I did not want it blown because of something like that. I had the match won. But either way, you will be seeing this guy at Survivor Series going. And Kevin Owens, one of the newest members of Undisputed Era this season, he's coming down to the ring. We saw this on Raw. He helped out strong last week. And it looks like he wants to say some words to oh, Roderick man. Strong right now. Representing Undisputed Era I as always. Gear, man. I love the freaking gear. And yeah, uh, Kevin Owens, Roderick Strong. It, it, it feels weird that, you know, Roderick Strong still has the Undisputed Era patch on. He still qualifies himself as a member. Never mm. officially kicked out. I mean, that's true. That's this is still his squad. It's just you know the, the brand thing kind of got in the way. How's it going, Roddy? On Monday Night Raw last week, you had a great opponent in Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight, the longest reigning United Kingdom champion in the past. But if it wasn't for me, man, you would have took another L on Monday Night Raw. Ever since you left this show, the Superior Brand. That Undisputed Era reigns. You haven't looked good, my man. You haven't won one match without Undisputed Era's help. And that's just a fact. I don't... Okay, okay. So, a little different energy than what I expected from you. I... Listen, I thought we were brothers. You know, we... we I never talked to you a day in my life. I never busted my ass protecting you like I did uh, all my other brothers. You're... You're a wolf. Where the hell you even came from? Don't undermine my position in this group, because I am the group. The reason I came out here tonight was to receive a thank you. I didn't get a thank you after that match, because I'm the only reason you beat Pete Dunne. If it wasn't for me, Roddy, you would have had another L on your column. Pete Dunne would have advanced and to possibly represent Monday Night Raw instead of you. You haven't earned a thing, and honestly... I don't even understand why you're still representing Undisputed Era because it's Cole, me, Fish, and Riley. Why am I still rep are you kidding me? What would this what would this group be without me? I do me, Roderick, Cole, Strong, Riley, us four. We did the groundwork to this whole damn thing, and there you come in our in our group like you weren't part of any of it. You weren't part of the building process. You joined. For you to say I joined Undisputed Era, I earned my spot on Undisputed Era. You weren't even a champion when they were all champions. I talked to Cole, Riley, and Fish. And honestly, the, the, the leader, Adam Cole of Undisputed Era, he told me to tell you that you're officially gone. You're out of Undisputed Era. And take it how you want it, kid. And Roderick Strong just got kicked out? Oh! Roderick Strong is now fighting one of the co-captains of Undisputed Era. And he's taking out his frustration on Roderick Strong. I mean, Kevin Owens. Roderick Strong putting the smack down on Kevin Owens. And we've been seeing good guy Roddy for a long time now, trying to almost like clean that stank of Undisputed Era's filth that they've been, you know, 
putting on him. Mm-hmm. But the, the armband comes off today. Roderick Strong is kicked out of Undisputed Era, and he is now taking it to essentially the person that took his place. A big clothesline on Kevin Owens, and the ref is waving it off, calling security. Oh, get that man back to Monday Night Raw. I'll gladly finish the fight off over there. Wow. Pretty crazy how uh, Kevin Owens and Strong had uh, an exchange of blows. Was not expecting that, but from word from Adam Cole, the leader of Undisputed Era, he told Roderick Strong he's officially gone and he's officially out of Undisputed Era, and it came from the guy that took his place in Kevin Owens. Wow. Wow, man. I did not what think a, what a segment, man. we would get a message from Adam Cole basically telling Roderick Strong he's gone. And it, it's honestly strange that these ladies don't have the championships anymore. Oh, but man. getting back to what we just saw as Boss and Hug Connection come down to the ring for their rematch against lead interest Stratus, Adam Cole told Kevin Owens, the newest member of Undisputed Era, that Roderick Strong is gone. He's no longer part of Undisputed Era. He's on the different brand. Undisputed Era... They're not the champions, but they think they're the top dogs of Friday Night SmackDown. They think they're still one of the best factions other than Bloodline. But it's sad to see Roderick Strong officially gone because where it all began was when he put that Undisputed Era band on his arm when he helped Cole and Kyle O'Reilly become the champions back in the day. And he double-crossed Pete Dunne, and that's who Strong beat yeah, but he's, he, he's not Raw. wrong. He, he did do the groundwork. That is true. He was the groundwork of all of this. Mm-hmm. And Kevin Owens did kind of just you know, hop on when yeah. they were hot. They had all the championships. Hey, and the, Leader whoa, doesn't have whoa, one championship, whoa, accordingly. Whoa. It's, do, it's doing, uh, it's doing uh, the, bring around the posy around her waist. Oh, my goodness. Gotta love this game. I don't know what the hell is happening. Yeah, no, just, an, another day for another glitch. Um, but, guys... I what think it's... Hell? Yeah, this is very <laughs> I'm trying to not pay attention to it as I try to make my announcement here. Yeah. Guys... You got an announcement? Yeah, we have an announcement, guys. It is Survivor Series time where brands clash. We already had Clash of Champions. The champions got all their beef out the way. My roster has the better champions. It's a fact. Christian had an off night. But at Survivor Series, it is Raw versus SmackDown. And Strong was on SmackDown last season. Yeah, he wasn't a champion. He was part of Undisputed Era. And I'm glad Trish Travis has the most title. Horrible outfit, though. But we saw Undisputed Era look great last season. Strong was not a champion. He was the weakest out of the faction. He went to Monday Night Raw, got his first victory, pretty much halfway through Season 2, beating Pete Dunne. And now Kevin Owens, he's proved himself in Undisputed Era, alongside with Cole, Riley, and Fish. Honestly, what I just saw, I feel like, needs to happen. And no other better way to happen at the pay-per-view where both our brands clash. I'm announcing it now. It's going to be Kevin Owens versus Roderick Strong. He's going to represent you. Yes, sir. Roderick Strong said he was going to represent himself at Monday Night Raw. And without Kevin Owens' help, he he wouldn't be representing anything. So uh, he was he was winning that match, man. He was looking I feel good like, against Pete. I feel like Kevin Owens is giving the platform to Roderick Strong on a big pay per view. Kevin Owens has been there before. He beat Keith Lee at SummerSlam when he officially was welcomed into Undisputed Era. If he could beat Keith Lee and join Undisputed Era, he could definitely be an ex member in Roderick Strong. So I'm making it official. Kevin Owens versus Roderick Strong at Survivor Series. Kevin Owens is representing the blue brand. And Strong is representing Raw. Oh, damn. And stipulation to be announced. I kind of want to do a stipulation there. I I think we should go. We should go Extreme Rules. or Yeah, I say go Extreme Rules. Definitely not a cage match. How can I blind touch touch. from all the way over there? Yeah, right. I've seen it pop up before. From all the way over there, it's crazy. Yeah, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to put a stipulation on the line. Uh, Something we haven't done before. Like, obviously, we've banned Undisputed Era before. We've been in a cage. Uh, with and Keith Lee and Kevin Owens. Um, I don't know. I wish there was more uh, match types to choose from I in, in this game. I wish the cage match wasn't so trash. That too. But uh, I'll definitely think of something. Maybe a, a brawl backstage. I don't know. I, f- I feel like these guys have a lot to, a frustration to get out on each other. Especially Roderick Strong for, from getting out, from getting kicked out officially from Undisputed Era. And I'm not trying to do that. Uh, drop kick anymore. There we go. 
Oh, I think, nice. I don't know, I think just Extreme Rules gets the job done. Okay. Um, Falls Count Anywhere, we're kind of doing that already with the main event. It's Elimination Falls Count Anywhere Extreme Rules, so. Yeah. A ladder match wouldn't be bad. Think to, about it now. To grab what? Um, that's true. Yeah, I couldn't think of that. that. Honestly, that's that's why the, the next game has to have more stipulations. You know? So, okay, okay there. But yeah. Roderick Strong versus Kevin Owens Survivor Series. That's uh, that's 100% happening. Well, what's happening right now is a women's tag team championship match, and I am aluminum foil and uh, you're, swirly you're whirly getting, title. Yeah, you're getting uh, tossed around right now. Holy crap! Lita, what's up? Oh no! I double tapped there. That was bad. We saw Bailey dominate Tony Storm. Whoa! Wow. Rough landing for Lita. Are you kidding me? We are seeing Bailey dominate once again, Christian. Simple as that. We saw her look great against Tony Storm. She's looking great against a legend in Trish Stratus right now. Whoa, that was a little glitchy there. Lita, you got hit one time. She's Wake in the negative up. too, so she's just coming back to life. She's coming back to life, Christian. I, I suck. No, you don't. Ooh, you're lucky I had the baby suplex coming, huh? Yeah, let's get some tag work going. It's a tag match, right? Got my great partner in, Sasha Banks, as she flies over. Sasha! Let's go with it, girl. There we go. Hog and Boss connection. Glitchy. Br Didn't you just have a comeback? Why'd you do another kick up? What is going on? Because I asked I have the kick up. Uh, okay. Okay, this is a rough start. Uh, the champions are showing why they might not be on the title. Yeah, a little rusty. They look great. I mean, that was a great match at Clutch Champions. So. Damn, bro, that drop kick. Ooh, nice. I wish I could reverse this and you could just knock off your partner. Storytelling, but it doesn't let me in this game. It doesn't want me to succeed, Christian. I can't believe I pulled that off in time. Woo! Damn, I should sit on the side. Can I pull her all the way over? I doubt it. Wow, she got up. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. How do you hit me mid kip up and I stay down? And then your kick up goes away officially, obviously. So. Well, Hug and Boss Connection are looking great once again. Maybe losing these titles was a fluke. Trish Stratus is already in red damage. Wow. That's a sight to see. Arm drag there by Lita. I'll let you do your work now. I got my reversal. I gotta play smart here if I want these titles back on my ladies. I feel like Lita is gonna be the one have to bring this home. Since Trish, Trish is very hurt. Lita's looking really good right now. So that's a twist of fate. Oh, I thought it that's a twist of fate. Hey Sasha, um, I need you to get over. Here. Oh, nice! Right in front of Trish Stratus. They're both unconscious? You kidding me? What is going on? Oh my good oh, oh my oh. goodness! And uh, Sasha Banks ended up getting the better of the halves. And ref doesn't even want to count. I'm trying to target Trish Rattus. There we go. Big suplex here on Sasha Banks right on top of Lita. Wow, Trish Rattus got right back up. No, 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 no. Okay, let's, get out. let's not get... Ref, get out of my way! Oh, jeez, I almost lost. Oh, I'm going to throw right into Trish. Oh, the heck? It's a good match so far. Big spear, shout out Edge. Oh, I don't have my... Uh... 
could have sworn I had a kick up. That's not how I wanted to do that. I literally went through you, bro. That's Hangs right. on. Sasha calling for a tag. Yeah, big, big. reversal. No, I wanted to hop down. That's actually first. I can't get distracted. I gotta call up Sasha. Oh, oh how, how is she standing after a clothesline? Oh my goodness. Bro, hit the belly to belly, Bailey. Thank goodness. Strangulation. Bro, Lita got right back up. Oh my goodness. Big drop kick there. Oh, you had no reversals. I just peeped that. These girls are going at it in the corner it's, it's, now. It, it got to like the breaking point very quick in yeah, this match, very, right? Very, very quickly. There's the Trish kick that puts Sasha out. Looked like she went for it up for of her own. Oh, look at Trish Stratus Beautiful. doing a little airplane. Shout Ooh. out to Eugene. I miss him. He uh, he told a very nice story. They tried being like a horrible man. Bro, I'm trying to do the Huracurana Sasha does, and she's not doing it, and it's getting me upset. Come on, I gotta get away from it. There we go. There it is. Come on. Ref is distracted. Bank statement here. And it's just gonna be broken. Uh. Spine Buster. Gotta get up, Sasha. Focus on Lita. What? Oh my god. I don't know. God. That, was. that played the part, though. That was fake. That's what it was. Oh, she threw her rip on her. Uh, by her hair there. Okay. in the back of my head. Just like you cheated on Matt Hardy. Wood Edge. Married Kane. What an angle that was. <laughs> what, I don't know. What a, what yeah, a side piece. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, That's big if you get that. Oh, right on top of Sasha. That's a pin. Hop out, please. Oh, I thought I was going to just do it to the ref. That would have been fire. <clears throat> oh! It kind of hit. Yeah, it, it did it, hit. It did hit. Are you kidding me? What? Both of us. Both of oh, 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 she picked her up. I guess it wasn't good enough for... What a doof. It wasn't good enough for Trisha's standards. Come on. Oh, no. It's turning into a good match. These ladies know how to wrestle, I'll tell you that. Uh, working on the knee of Sasha Banks. This is a fun match already. Yeah, I always like when these girls work in the ring together. Stupid move. I tried to reverse it. I thought that was going to be easy. I need the other to get up. Mm, I don't have a kick up, nothing. That's probably it. Come on. Yeah, it is. Did I just defend? Did I just defend? The moonsault. Can it hit? Is it too far? It is not. That's it. Oh, oh. my God. And Sasha sits up. Sasha sits up. How did I miss? Up there. And CPU. Yep. Defend all, all that. Uh, she went for a finisher. Yikes. Hit this girl, bro. <laughs> I want to say the, another word, but it's PG era. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Oh I'm gonna come back. God. I'm gonna come back. No, 
shot! Oh my goodness, the leg drop just doesn't do it no more, I guess. I can't grab Let's you. Let's go. Oh my god. Come on. Really? I need you to defend. Oh, that's big! No, not on the outside. If this connects, that's that's death. It, oh! Okay, there goes her elbow. Shattered into three million pieces. Hot tag. Hot tag. Hot tag. This is the perfect opportunity. Oh. And uh, right now, Lita and Trish are clearly deadlocked on defeating oh Sasha Banks. That has been the weaker link. Oh, yeah. Call it now. Yep. Get clobbered in the face by aluminum foil. This isn't it. Okay, do not do it. Get out of town. Get out of town, Trish. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's the second oh reversal. God. Bailey's down, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what's going on with Sasha. I can't see anything. CPU is doing the work on Trish Stratus. Get Bailey up. It's a good match. Absolutely. Oh! Hit the ref. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was the Trish kick right there. Come on. Bank statement. Bank statement. Bailey's tired. Bailey was tired. And she shot up like a rocket. Yeah, right after the pin got broken up, huh? What is this? Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Pop up like The Undertaker. Beautiful. Oh, that was fire. This is so high pace. I almost hit my comeback move and I would have screwed myself. Gosh, these girls are moving. At such a high pace. Oh! Oh, what is Trish? Suplex inside? Far. Oh, it kind of hit her. She's going to roll out now. That's tough. Oh, oh, whoa. She's still in. Oh! That's big God! Oh, go. that's it! Let's go! That's that it. has to be it! That could be it. One. Oh! oh. My goodness. Oh! This is nuts. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought that was uh, Twisted That's Fate. it? That's our finisher. Really? Yes. One. See? Two. One! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. How did I miss? Wow. That match had another five minutes. Twisted Fate is the signature. I fooled you. Let's go. Come on. I had another five minutes in that match. I should have oh, kicked out. Oh, man. How did I miss that? I love how they're just showing. That, that's a sight, now. though. Both, yeah. both women fought, man. Oh! oh that's the that's <laughs> the one thing they want to show is barely oh, shatter man. her elbow into five And they wow. retain. They do it. Oh, man. Two legends holding those titles. Who's going to represent your woman for Survivor Series, Jesse? Um, Definitely not these ladies. I got a different plan for them. <sighs> Honestly, I was really amazed how Bailey performed last week. So she's definitely going to represent my team for Survivor Series. And I feel like I can't have Sasha Banks by her side. Yes, they just lost at Clash of Champions and they just 
lost to uh, Trisha and Lita, but these girls are legends. Those are two losses um, you shouldn't be ashamed of. But I got Bailey and Sasha representing my Survivor Series team as well. And honestly, I know you got the real queen in Lacey Evans, but she doesn't have as many title reigns as Charlotte Flair does. So I got Bailey, Sasha, Hug and Boss Connection, and I got the real queen of WWE in Charlotte. You need four people, but okay. Uh, I, Matt, Matt was never your it's, strong it's, subject. It's, it's coming next week. Okay, sure. If you say so. And Sasha Banks with a bad loss. Who the hell are these girls? Ah. <sighs> no, was, no, 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 no. I was who, waiting who is this, for the bro? announcement. Those are the last two members of Survivor Series: Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke. And in the co-main event of the evening, Friday Night SmackDown has been crazy. Rock beating Bobby Lashley. Two legends in Lita and Trish Stratus beating two future Hall of Famers in Bailey and Sasha Banks, who will represent Survivor Series for me, along with Charlotte at Survivor Series representing Friday Night SmackDown. But we got the one that basks in his glory. Back for the first time, I feel like, since he lost his feud to Kevin Owens. Honestly, guys, that whole thing was to skyrocket Keith Lee. And anything can happen in this universe. We don't book winners. We play for base of competition. And whoever wins, we push yeah. for storyline purposes. And it goes from there, and that's how we build our universe. So nothing I, I, is uh, staged. I think originally you wanted him to win that title. Too. I wanted him to win the United States Championship. I had a lot of plans for this guy. I wanted him to go against Roman Reigns. Uh, I wanted him to be the United States Champion. I wanted him to go on and beat all of Undisputed Era, but Kevin Owens uh, beat him to the punch. He was the one that basked in the glory in the end at SummerSlam because Kevin Owens won that Steel Cage match and officially got into Undisputed Era with that big victory. But Keith Lee, man, I love you, man. I'm not treating you like garbage like they do in the main roster. He's honestly like a floater, I feel. Like, they, they call him when they need him for a good match because he is absolutely great in the ring. He got a really good promo, in my opinion, too. It's just, I feel like it's not Vince McMahon's type. Um, he's got engaged. Yeah, to, to me, him. But, uh, Keith Lee, I don't have really anything else for you except this match. Shinsuke Nakamura has looked absolutely amazing this season, losing to Bobby Lashley in a great match in the King of the Ring tournament. King of Strong Style is back in this universe. And, guys, this is a fatal four-way. We still got two more people to come out. But uh, Shinsuke Nakamura making his way down to the ring. This, this is going to be a crazy match, man. Yeah. It really uh, is. Fresh off a of King of the Ring tournament where he was going crazy. Uh... He had a great run. Bobby Lashley dethroned him, but Bobby Lashley made it to the final. I mean, mm -hmm. and lost to the great one. Yeah. And so, we don't somebody got to lose. It was what a thirty-two man tournament. Oh uh, yeah. When did Randy Orton come out? <laughs> you saw that too, right? <laughs> I did. I did indeed. Uh, I guess he <laughs> snuck in when the lights turned out. Like he's that much of a viper. No idea. Okay. I, I don't know. All right. Well. <laughs> so what? Shinsuke's already out. Keith Lee. What's the point of this match? I gotta ask. Um, you want me to be honest? Or do you, you want me to want me to lie? Uh lie first. Um, I had nothing for the co-main event. To be honest, I wanted something extreme, and with this guy and on my roster, yeah. To, to, honestly. I really didn't have anything going. For... How are you gonna say it's, it's a lie and then follow? Uh, okay, I'm I'm bad at lying, bro. You know that. I'm no, just gonna. You you're really not. You told me it was a Hispanic girl. Just never mind. It's okay. Yeah, that's that's another lie too. But okay, uh, okay. It's 2021. It's it's February. What is and it? Where did Randy Orton come in from? Bro, that's what I'm saying. I don't get that. Maybe we skipped. Uh, maybe we skipped it by accident. I don't, I don't. I don't know. But the truth is, I said this a few weeks ago. I got nothing for this man, bro. This guy? No. How do you have nothing for Alistair? Well, I have a match for him next week before Survivor Series. But after that, bro, you can have him. Just give me something. For real. 
Is, I have are nothing. You, are, are, you, are you lying to me again? No, this is the truth. I really have nothing for Aleister Black after next week on SmackDown. So offer me a trade. Not right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do it on air. Yeah, not right now. I gotta sit down. I gotta. But think. I have nothing for Aleister Black after next week. I just don't. Well, yeah. And that, the, 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 the truth is, is, I want to put him in matches with Randy Orton. That's something you wanted to do, I know that. So I put him in there. Keith Lee, who I had nothing for, so why not put him on the show? And Shinsuke Nakamura, I feel like Shinsuke Nakamura and an Aleister Black match one-on-one -on -one would be crazy. But I put them all in this match. I haven't had a Fatal 4-Way match in forever. This is Extreme Rules as well, anything goes. So Aleister Black is in the ring with three other great superstars on my show. So I want to put him in matches with as many people as possible before I ship him out and get a trade. Because I know you're going to give me a really good offer for that man because I know how you feel about Black. I love Aleister Black. I love his character, his ring work. But with how my roster is built, I have nothing for him after Survivor Series. That's just, that's just the truth. I, can't, I don't want to put him in the main title picture. I don't think he deserves it. No offense. I don't think he's... He's too good for the mid-card. Like, he's in the upper mid-card area. But... I got killers, bro. I got Seth Rollins. I got Adam Cole. I got Kevin Owens. I got these three people in the ring. Edge and Randy Orton, they just lost the tag titles. Can they go to the main uh, main uh, title scene? Could they be in the mid-card? Like, I got killers, bro. I don't think Aleister lasts with all these people. Uh, so. Yeah, let's see about that because I'm Aleister Black today. I'm going to kill every one of you, mother... And I am Randy Orton. And everyone literally messed everyone. <laughs> Except the ref. Except me. You Randy? Yes. All right. Jesse, uh, all this spew of you doing Aleister Black, Kate Slander, we didn't even get to discuss the fact that Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke attacked your precious little queens, mm -hmm. Sasha Banks and Bailey. Yeah. You made the announcement, I sent my killers. You guys forgot I drafted them? Are you kidding me? Are you stupid? Do you think I wasn't waiting for this moment? BWA being the captains, Jessamine Duke, Marina Shafair joining them. We got the four horsewomen of MMA about to kill anybody that gets in their way in Survivor Series. Yeah, and I already announced Hug and Boss Connection and Charlotte Flair representing my roster. So I have to think of one more lady. Will it be Rhea Ripley? Will it be Tony Storm? Can it be AJ Lee, my number one draft pick? Oh, and two birds, one stone. That's what Aleister Black does. And Randy Orton calling Aleister Black to get back in this ring, or is Shinsuke Nakamura going to get in here is the question. Because the Viper doesn't chase anything. He waits for its prey, and then he kills it. Throws Aleister into Randy the... Randy Orton trying to get Aleister Black out of the equation, steps. throwing him away from everybody. Keith Lee and Alistair Black going at it. Looks like, oh, and Keith Lee and avoids that. What a match that would be, too. Keith Lee versus oh, wow. Alistair. All of these uh, men. I'm thinking about it now. Was Alistair Black amazing. in the Royal Rumble? No, right? This, yeah. this past one? No, of course not, bro. Why would he? This is despicable. Bro, he's he's leaving WWE. By, this is really by, by summer. Mark my words. Despicable action. I can't wait to... He's going to be the one that makes me watch AEW. And all the combinations. And Keith Lee has not been down. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys see what's going on. Keith Lee is being treated like a boxing bag. And finally Goes is down. off of his feet. Okay. Bro, the drop kicks are really reversible now. There we go. Oh, and oh I forgot that uh, we can get a little bit extreme. And he grabs a and sledgehammer. And he's going toward Alistair. He and messed up. No, he's not. He messed up. He throws it down. What was the point of getting it? I'll grab it. What's up, Keith? Oh. Somehow I was targeted on you. Okay. Shinsuke, what up, baby? You know what? I don't like it. Five people in the ring at once, so I'll try and throw someone out. Yeah, oh. that's not happening. Wow. Okay. I think I'm targeted on Keith Lee. Yeah. No, you're not. Let me cancel it. 
Oh, I almost RKO'd That's the ref. Okay, you gotta get up, buddy. Oh, onto the knee. And I roll out. Now Shinsuke and Keith Lee are probably gonna go out of here now. I'm getting tossed. Like some salad. Shinsuke, we're gonna get a object here. Oh, oh the chops. Shinsuke with a bat. All right, Randy, come on. No, what is this? Oh my goodness, right to Shinsuke. And there goes the bat onto my knee. Shinsuke and Keith Lee teaming up here. What an odd tag team that would be. Oh, right and, into Alistair's and face. They're taking care of us, Jesse. Yeah, we're looking like scrubs out here right now. Who put the ladder there, you? Mm -hmm. oh. Is Keith Lee going to attack me? What's he doing here? I don't know, but right now we're both getting hurt. Oh my, I just got knocked out. He's going to pin me. Oh. Yeah, nobody's home. Let me hit Keith Lee. You got nothing. RKO. Shinsuke. I'll touch black. Oh, imagine you would have caught it. That's what we're doing. I always wanted this match, bro. Yeah, so do I. And I just wanted them to go out. Of... <sighs> Randy Orton rolls out. Shinsuke could go for the pin. I hit RKO on Keith Lee. He's going to go for it. One. Oh, thank God. Too strong for the strong style. Yeah, I did hit RKO on Aki, so I don't want really to forget that. Now it's broken up, so... Oh, nice. Yeah, let's do black. Yeah, I don't have the lives in the back of my head. The voices in my head didn't tell me. There. Shinsuke with that sledgehammer just hit him in the groin. Oh! That's the gut there. Oh, on and top of the <laughs> sledgehammer, too. Randy's getting up. Yep. Beautiful. Keith Lee is going to go for a pin. I don't think so. I don't know who to go for because there's two drop kicks from Randy. Okay, we can do that. Get that. Go get Alistair. Whoa, that was Kinshasa from the top rope. He did? Yeah. Since when is that a thing? It is. I've been trying to actually do it for a while now. Hit him! Clock. Pick up Keith Lee. Shinsuke, if you're smart, you go toward uh, Alistair Black here. This is in the negative. Oh, no, you're not. You got the baseball bat now. Shinsuke goes flying. And that's what I wanted. I'm tired, though, so I'm just going to set it to go. Come on, Tom. No, I can't. Oh, I was going to go crazy. Man. I was going to try and Tom. Keith Lee getting another object. Randy Orton trying to stop him there. He's a steel chair. This is my move. Oh, oh. He, he went for it right back. Come and on. I'm getting thrown into the mix now. Come on. High kick landed on Shinsuke. Keith Lee's going to do something here, I feel. Oh, onto that bat. Oh, when he reversed my black mass. Two black masses reversed. Oh, no, he reversed my regular kick. Chops. And I'm getting it. Bro, I'm getting double teamed by Shinsuke and Keith Lee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh oh! That's Kinshasa! That is! That could be it. That's gonna be it. One, two. Yep. Wow, and Shinsuke did it! Wow. Shinsuke did it. I had all my black masses lined up. I wanted to hit each and every one of you guys. I had three enough for the whole handful, but uh. 
I hit RKO on Keith Lee. His shins can look great. Yeah. Hit a Kinshasa off the top rope. Hit a Kinshasa on Keith Lee, who looked the worst in that match. But that's a big guy to put down there. I tried to break it up last second right there. I wish the game did it automatically for me. But wow. That's a great win for the King Strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura pinning Keith Lee. I know he hasn't had the best season, but that's a big win for him after losing to Bobby Lashley in the King of the Ring uh, tournament. Randy and Alistair were down. Those guys had exchanged blows for a little bit. But Shinsuke Nakamura with a big, big victory in the co-main event. What can this mean? Honestly, this could mean he could be at Survivor Series. I don't know yet. I'm going to take that into consideration. You got one more roster spot. Yeah. We could see Bloodline in the King of Strong style represent Friday Night SmackDown. That that sounds kind of fun. All the red over the Monday Night Raw. Yeah. I would not mind that. I will think about that. King of Strong style winning, that could land him at Survivor Series pay-per-view representing my, uh, my brand. Well, speaking of representing your brand, your WWE champion in action. Up next. Yes, sir. And in the main event of the evening on Friday Night SmackDown, Jack Harlow's hometown. Wish he, uh, honestly, bro, I wish sometimes there was ways in this game where you can have like celebrities come into the game, kind of like how they do it in uh, real life. Bro, honestly, I heard rumors he's going to be at WrestleMania. Like in a match. Yeah, I saw that. With uh, Damian Priest on it. I saw that too. But what a horrible way to start Damian Priest's. Uh, Main main roster run with a celebrity. It's what it's not how I would do it, but whatever. Um, he's expected to get a big push apparently though. He has the look, so I don't know. I don't know what Vince's type is anymore. It's obviously jacked guys like Kurt Angle and Roman Reigns and people like that. But that could only go so far. I feel you're gonna have to have guys having championships that actually actually wrestle, like people in NXT and. Other talent like that back in our day when Kurt Angle was running things on Friday Night SmackDown back in like 05, 06, feuding with John Cena's of the world, Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, just to name a few. But this man, Kurt Angle, in another main event. And in a match we almost saw this season against the WWE Champion. And it's always a good show when the WWE Champion is in the main event. Kurt Angle versus Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. We almost saw this at Halloween Havoc. I remember because Kenny Omega and Kurt Angle, it was a number one contenders match rec recommended by a fan. I forget the, the fan, to be honest, as of right now. But recommended Kurt Angle versus Kenny Omega. Winner of that goes against Roman Reigns at Halloween Havoc. Kurt Angle lost in a great match. It was a heartbreaker because I really wanted to see Kurt Angle versus Roman Reigns at that stage. But we got to see Kenny Omega versus Roman Reigns one-on-one -on -one in that rematch after Elimination Chamber. And it, it was great. It was one of the best matches of that pay-per-view, so I'm not mad. But the only reason I'm doing this on a SmackDown is because I needed that star power in the main event. And Roman Reigns, obviously, is my number one guy to go to. Kurt Angle, he's had a... Not a a shaky season but he's had a, a kind of a, a decent season he has wins under his belt but he's lost more than he's won but i can't disrespect one of the greatest of all time one of the greatest wrestlers in the sport and one of the greatest wrestlers in freestyle wrestling i don't want to treat kurt angle like they did in real life i'm giving this guy worthy opponents like he's went against kenny omega he's gone against roman reigns he's went against so many guys this season that are worthy of being in the main event title picture and this is going to be a great match. I hope it's a classic. And can we see Roman Reigns wreck Kurt Angle and leave? He's wrecked everyone else. He's got that title back around his waist. He's representing his faction, Bloodline. They all have the championships. And can Friday Night SmackDown win that main event at Survivor Series under Roman Reigns? So far, Bloodline has been looking great, man. They've been winning all their matches. Um... That one little hiccup with Elias was just that. It was a hiccup. It was a moment. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a moment for Elias. It was a, a hiccup, and that moment has passed. I am Roman Reigns today. Let's see if I can carry the, the bloodline tradition. And I am Kurt Angle. Oh, I forgot to hit the button first. That's embarrassing. Damn. Matt return there by Roman. Oh. Oh, it changed? What? 
That's interesting. Learn new things every day, don't we, Jesse? Yeah, I, I was expecting it to uh, be in the same direction after the punch, but it changed there. Okay. I like it. Heel tactic there by Roman Reigns. Not letting the dominant technical wrestle, technical wrestler do his moves and added some, some strikes in there. Ah, uh, come on, Kurt. Wow. Can't reverse that anymore. All right. I don't need to see Roman just dog Kurt Angle right now. This match is too great. You thought it was going to be great. You literally just hugged me and you caught me with these. Oh boy, I'm afraid this is going to be a bad match for Kurt Angle. Yeah, you think? Oh my god. Kurt? You there? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I do not want to lose this match. I don't want it to be a fluke. Like, I don't want it to be a bad match, at least. If Roman wins, it's great, but... I'm sending Kurt to the retirement home. Nah, chill. Not with Jason Jordan, bro. This imaginary song. I already have my resign, so that's when you know it's embarrassing. Oh, there goes oh, my neck again. My God. Uh, not looking good. There we go. Let's see if that buys Kurt any time. Uh oh. Don't die. Come on, Kurt. There's some momentum in your favor. Never mind. I hit the pole now. I always imagined, like, how does that feel? Getting thrown into that LED pole. I know they're, like, not, like, legit. But I know there's well, like they put their hands out. Yeah, there's some type of like Oh my god padding on there. Oh hey, and uh let me see if I can do the resiliency. I don't think so, but come on I'll figure that much. Was this a mistake? Yeah, it was. Was this a mistake, bro? Why'd you admit it? Oh wow! That's a quick trigger reversal. That's what they call a hair trigger right there. You saw a signature on the ground too, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even know what it would be though, to be honest with you. Push ice dude, that's my dog. You love to go for this. I so said don't die. Bro, has it ever been hit? Like, I, I, every time I see... Okay, I didn't do it. Right. <laughs> every time I see him do it, they always move out the way, bro. Like, it always k used to kill me. Like, we saw it at WrestleMania, and it didn't happen. I meant to call you up. Oh! Okay. But, yeah. Like, hit the moonsault, bro. Such a beautiful move. Yeah, just do it. You're only 85 years old. With a broken neck and countless surgeries. Honestly, he's he's in really good shape now. I follow him on Instagram. There was a report that uh, said that he was in uh, MMA. I, I then knew about that. wasn't I wasn't surprised about it. That was a long time ago. That's when uh, he left WWE. He uh, was really thinking about joining UFC back in like 2007. Slam. Okay, he's not looking at the bottom. Put away from the ropes. Go for the pinfall. It's not gonna do anything. You're gonna kick out. One. Yeah. Plan worked. Awesome. But uh, oh, and he kicks right up. But yeah, back in like 06 when WWE released him of his contract. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh beautiful. Big. Matt returned. He really thought about because he went to a UFC live event and talked to Dana White and said he's actually really interested in doing this. But he said with all the injuries and he was not in good shape back in 2006. We all know why the WWE cut him. Uh, he said it wasn't in his best interest to do uh, mixed martial arts. Would have been interesting though. Don't get me wrong. Kurt Angle. That's it. Fighting in MMA. His obviously one of the best wrestlers ever. 
I feel like his style would have worked in MMA because he already has that wrestling background. I feel like he could have been probably pretty good in MMA, especially back then when MMA wasn't uh, really great. Superman punch. Oh! Oh, I ran out of stamina. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't pull that a different way. What do you mean? Uh, I would have pinned after the Superman. Ah, uh, you were in the negative. I probably should have. Uh, good point. Oh my god! You gotta be quick with those. Because that's literally the only way. If you're not quick on that reversal. Oh, you shot at like that. I'm a beast. Here. Yeah, I went in. I don't want to play it like a, a baby. Nice slam there by Roman Reigns. You need a few moves to get your signature in. I just got my reversal too, so it worked out. I didn't want to play the mind game of me looking at you through the ropes. Current angle is too good for that. Come on, Kurt. Thing is, I wonder what weight he would have fought at. Would he would have fought at heavyweight, or would he would have fought at 205? Would he would have cut weight even lower? Cause I'm I'm trying to remember what weight he wrestled in uh, uh, the Olympics. I would imagine like 200 something, because he was a lot skinnier back in the day. Yeah, I don't know. Think about it now. Like a Kurt Angle at like a 185 would be nuts, or a 205 in UFC. I'd probably say 205. Yeah. Would be crazy. Holy crap, man. Reversing all my goods today. Ankle lock. Resiliency you do have still. I love how he sits, man. I like when he stands up. Let's go. I like how they have that crawl ability, too. That I hurt. didn't even see it. I was so focused on the freaking yeah. meter. That, that barely hurt your uh, your legs. Oh, oh, I, I kind of weaved it. Yeah. Turned into a good match. Yeah, fighting back. That bro, that only put your legs in yellow body damage. That's from the rings for you, bro. See, I, I should have that momentum off that punch, but that's this game. Yeah, bro, my rings. That's my dog. Still going for it. Come on, Kurt. Ooh. Oh no! I tried to play German. German. No, I tried no. to play coy, and uh, I got I got swamped. I got reeled. Wish they didn't rem take the thing off where you can remove the straps. It's so dumb. It's the Kurt Angle I used to love. Well, if he wins here, he might got a chance to remove the strap off of Roman Reigns' shoulders next time. Yeah. If you beat the champion, you get a WWE title shot here, Kurt Angle. Something I've wanted to do with him all season. Try to try to get him back into a Kenny main Omega title ended scene. up winning that, right? Yeah, that's why we saw him versus Roman, and then Roman beat him again. That happened months ago, though. Back when uh, we did Halloween Havoc. Around Halloween time, so four months ago. It's, cra it's kind of crazy that it's been that long. COVID. Yeah. Bro, honestly, like, I, I, I miss the way everything used to be. Go to a live event for WWE. You know, go to a baseball game and not worry yeah, th about a thing. This, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, there goes oh, wow. his aching body. He's going to need to drink milk. After that so one. So how do I still get a signature? That's did, a great... Did you go for something afterwards? No. I did reverse your Superman punch, though, so... And are you doing it again? Yes, sir. What are you doing? You're, you're already in position, bro. I'm missing this 100%. Reversed, once again. Reverse, reverse. Oh, oh, wow. That was nice. What a shame. Oh, on the outside. You still got it? Yeah, bro. 
Oh, come on! I just want to do it one time, man! Oh, man. It's such a beautiful move, and it gets reversed all the time. Kind of got refreshed, uh, right? Yeah, because I jumped out. Okay, cool. We're going at it, man. This is the match. This is, this is a dog fight. Big dog fight? Yeah, we're for was that Michael Cole or was that you that used to say that? Was that was you, okay. Who did the roof roof? Yeah, Michael yeah, Cole yeah, definitely yeah. did not. <laughs> he did not bark on TV, unfortunately. Would have been great. You reversed that, wow. Oh my god! That's slam. big! I can't believe you! Incredible. I can't believe you. Resiliency, please use it. One, two, Okay. I think I would have broke out of that pin, but whatever. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this match. I really am. At a pay-per-view level, too. It's a high-impact match mm -hmm. for you to have Roman go into, Jess. Especially right before uh, Survivor Series. My guy's performed, man. Well, he's, he's a fighting champion. Last time we seen Roman Reigns in a Survivor Series match, he actually teamed up with Kurt Angle. That's very true. Yeah, that's when uh, Kurt Angle represented the Shield. Who was the one that uh, was sick or something or injured? Was it Dean Ambrose? I'm pretty sure it was Kurt Angle, Seth, and Roman. And they won against... Was it Wyatt Family? Or am I bugging? I don't remember who they won against. Truthfully. It was a great match, though. That was the first time Kurt Angle performed in... Uh, think about like it now, it wasn't Roman who was sick, right? No, Roman was there, 100%. Well, I'd have to look it up, to yeah, be honest. It might be Moxley. I mean, Ambrose, whatever. Yeah, that was uh. That was, I don't even know, man. That was the I first think, time. I think it's all three of them. <laughs> that was the first time he performed in a long time in WWE, mm -hmm. and they made it a big deal. And now he's performing on Roman Reigns' ass. I'm trying to go for my Germans, but I guess I'm not doing it in the right analog stick motion for the grapple moves. Just imagine having blood on, bro. That's one thing I hope they control well in the next game. The blood. That's a oh. smell drop. That's better than my signature. Yeah, I wonder if he ever gets rid of that Superman punch. Truthfully. I mean, the spear is nice. His other uh, guillotine move he does now is cool. There it is. It's turning into a really long match. Didn't think it'd be this long. Yep, we're getting, we're getting there, Jess. We're getting there for sure. 12 plus minutes. Ooh, looks like I did a Superman punch off the apron there, kind of, but I kind of missed. Damn. Ugh, ref is calling Roman to get in. There it is. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, yeah. Come on. it's happened before. I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I should have had that uh, kick out with the tag title match, the women, and I failed. I don't want to ruin it here. Come on, Roman. That's, oh, that's it. That's game. That was a little early there. That's game. One, two. Let's go. Good match. Good match. I don't know who you're gonna have Roman go for the title next. I don't know either. I liked what I saw though with Kurt and Roman. I don't know. I, feel, ooh, I don't know. No bloodline in his corner today either. None yeah. needed. Got the job done in the main event, beating Kurt Angle, one of the best ever. I feel like that's not the last time we see those gentlemen though. Roman Reigns has been pure dominance. He has been pure dominance, and it continues. Will it continue at Survivor Series? Well, you guys will just have to find out. We got a great Raw for you next week. We got, we got a great SmackDown for you next week and an even greater pay-per-view when it's all said and done. What will be on Survivor Series, you may ask? Well, a bunch of brand versus brand action. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be New Day versus Bloodline, but we still need one more person on each team mm -hmm. that I think me and Jesse are both holding out on. That will be... Not really a traditional Survivor Series matches because those last for too damn long, but it yeah. will be elimination 
but it will be Falls Count Anywhere, Extreme Rules, it's going to be chaos, it might look like a cluster F word, but whatever. Yeah. Um, We're going to see... Oh. Talk about it. Oh, we're gonna get, gonna see Asuka versus Kansas the Ray for the Raw Women's Championship. We're also going to be seeing the women's uh, Raw versus SmackDown match. It will be BWA and the two other ladies, the four horsewomen of MMA, uh, Jessamine Duke and Maria Shafir. They obviously attacked my girls that are representing my show, the former tag team champions who lost tonight. Sasha and Bailey Hog and Boss Connection. We're also going to see the Queen at Survivor Series. Can the Queen lead Sasha and Bailey to beating the four horsewomen of uh, of MMA? We still got one more um, entrance to be filled. Will it be Tony Storm? Could it be Ray Ripley? She's my champion, or could it be AJ Lee? Any of my other girls? We're gonna have to wait and see. But, uh, On top of that, we have what was announced today. Roderick Strong versus Kevin Owens in a brand versus oh, yeah. brand match. Can't forget about that one. And obviously, you can't forget about the King of the Ring showdown that will be happening. We know Pac is officially there. Mm. Still wondering who's going to be next. Well, tune into Monday Night Raw. That's six matches. Maybe we spice it up and do seven. But uh, let's see. Oh, wait. No, tune we, in. we forgot one. Uh, Adam Cole. Versus, right. versus Seth Rollins. Yeah. So That's that six. is our sixth That's match. Six. Um, are we doing six? We're doing... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Tune in. Monday Night Raw. Tune in. All right. You heard me. Guys, with all that being said, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring the bells, get our new updated videos, and we'll see you on... The other side of the universe. Peace. No rush, I'll take my time Just a crush, girl, fall in line Don't care what the rumor be Cause I'm my best, she only lie If this ever ruin me, I pray I die with dollar signs I feel like I'm Kobe Bean, I'm 21 and in my prime